Hello guys! Ako pala si Sir Jun at welcome sa aking YouTube channel. Kung bago lang kayo sa aking channel, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pakipagot na rin ang bell button para manotify kayo kapag nag-upload ako ng bagong video. Ang lesson natin sa video na ito ay tungkol sa special product na square of a trinomial. As per defined from the last video na square of a binomial that trinomial is an algebraic expression consisting of three terms. Halimbawa, meron tayong x squared plus 5x plus 2. So, ito yung ating first term. Second term. Then, the third term. So, meron tayong three terms. X squared has a degree of 2. 5x has a degree of 1. Then, 2 has a degree of 0 dahil wala siyang kasama na variable. Let's consider this trinomial. So, meron tayong x plus y plus z square. Exponent 2 means that we need to square this trinomial or multiply it by itself. Kadalasan, ganito ang ginagawa natin. Ginagawa natin ganito. Then, use long method by multiplying each term. So, ginagawa natin, yung first term dito, yung multiply natin sa first term sa kabila. So, meron tayong x times x is equals to x squared. Then, plus, yung first term ulit na x multiply sa second term na y. So, meron tayong xy plus yung first term na x ulit multiply sa last term na z. So, meron tayong xz din plus dito naman tayo sa second term na y times sa first term sa kabila na x. So, meron tayong y times z y times x or x times y so, magiging xy plus yung y multiply natin sa y sa kabila na second term. So, magiging y times y y squared plus yung y multiply natin sa third term sa kabila na z. So, magiging y times z yz plus yung z na third term multiply natin sa x na first term sa kabila. So, magiging z times x or x times z. So, xz plus yung z multiply natin sa second term sa kabila na y. So, z times y or y times z. So, magiging yz plus yung z multiply natin sa last term sa kabila na z. So, magiging z times z is z squared. Then, pagkatapos, pagkatapos, combine natin yung mga like terms. So, copy natin yung x squared plus 
xy dito plus yung xy naman dito. So, magiging 2xy plus yung xz plus yung xz dito. So, magiging 2xz plus copy natin to guys y y squared plus ano na lang natitira yz tapos yung yz dito so magiging 2yz plus copy natin to guys so z z squared Then, lastly guys, ang kailangan lang natin gawin ay i-arrange lang natin to. So, so, sa alphabet, nauna talaga yung X, yung Y, at sumusunod yung Z. So, parang sa alphabet lang. So, copy natin. X squared plus Y squared plus sunod yung Z squared plus 2xy Ito yun 2xy Plus Next, ito 2xz Then, yung panghuli is 2yz So guys, yung squared ng x plus y plus z is equals to x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2xy plus 2xz plus 2yz. Kung mapapansin nyo, mahaba ang process at kung minsan medyo nakakalito, pero, let's take a look at a special rule that will allow us to find the product without using the long method na dinamit natin dito. Ito na yung sinasabi ko na special rule. The square of a trinomial consists of una. The sum of a square of the first, second, and last term. So, kailangan lang natin square of the first, the second, and the last term. Yun yung una. Pakalawa, twice the product of the first and the second terms. Yung pangatlo, twice the product of the first and the last terms. And, yung panghuli, twice the product of the second and the last terms. Pero, mas maganda at nakakatulong kung i-memorize nyo na lang ang pattern na ito. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na pattern A plus B plus C. Ito yung first term na A, second term na B, at saka third term na C. Sabi niya, The sum of the square of the first, the second, and the third. So, ito A squared plus B squared plus C squared. Then, sabi niya, twice the product of the first and the second plus twice the product of the first and the third plus twice the product of the second and the last term. So, guys, Just memorize this pattern. So, para mas madali na lang yung pag-square natin ng trinomial. So, from this point, magbibigay na ako ng mga halimbawa. Okay guys, para sa una nating halimbawa, meron tayong x squared plus 5x plus 2 squared. So, ang gagawin natin, 
Isusulat na natin dito yung ating formula or pattern. So, sabi niya, squared ng first term. So, meron tayong So, x squared x squared plus square ng second term na 5x So, meron tayong 5x squared plus square ng third term. So, 2 squared plus twice ng product ng E at saka B. Meron tayong 2 times So meron tayong 2x squared times 5x plus twice the product of first term at saka third term So meron tayong Meron tayong 2 times x squared times 2 then plus so nandito na tayo guys twice the product of second term and the third term so 2 so meron tayong 2 times 5x times 2. Okay. So, simplify na tayo. x squared x squared ay magiging x to the 4. So, paano naging x to the 4 yan, guys? So, remember nyo lang yung raising a power to a power. So, ito tsaka ito Minultiply natin yung dalawa. So, 2 times 2 is equals to 4. So, nagkaroon tayo ng x to the 4. Then, plus. So, 5x squared. So, mag mayroon tayong 5 squared na 25. Then, x squared. Then, plus. 2 squared is 4 plus 2 squared then times 5x. So, 2 times 5 ay 10. Then, itong x squared times x is x. So, magiging x cubed or x x to the 3. Paano naging x to the 3 yan? So, ito guys, yung x squared at saka x, meron siya ditong 1. So, ang ginawa natin is 2 plus 1 is nagiging 3. So, kung remember nyo, yung product rule natin, yan yun. Yun yung uh, kung paano natin nag nakuha yung 3. So, 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. So, naging x cube. Dito naman Kanina guys, may multiply natin ito. So, base sa raising a power to a power. So, proceed tayo. So, dito na tayo guys. 2 times x squared times 2. So, multiply muna natin itong 2 saka 2. So, magiging 4 then x squared. Then, yung panghuli, 2 times 5x times 2. So, meron tayong 2 times 5 is 10 times 2 is 
ट्वेंटी एक्स देन नेक्स्ट गाइस kung may nakikita kayo dito na pwedeng i-combine or combine like terms gaya nito 25x squared at saka ng 4x squared so kukombine natin yan so copy yung x to the 4 meron tayong x Then, combine like terms. So, 25x squared plus 4x squared. So, meron tayong 29x squared plus 4 plus 10x cubed. Plus 20x. Then guys, pwede natin itong i-arrange uh, mula sa pinakamataas na degree pababa. So, pwede maging ganito. Meron tayong x to the 4 plus ang next ay yung ito. 10x cube then plus ito yung sunod 29x squared plus ito guys then yung panghuli ay yung 4 so the final answer ng x squared plus 5x plus 2 squared i x to the 4 plus 10x cubed plus 29x squared plus 20x plus 4. Dumako naman tayo sa pangalawang halimbawa. Para sa ating pangalawang halimbawa, meron tayong m plus n minus d squared. Okay, solution. Palagi nating lagay yung ating pattern na a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2ac plus 2ab. So ito palagi yung susundan natin na pattern. So, yung una is yung first term. So, meron tayong m squared plus n squared plus d squared. So, baka magtaka kayo, bakit plus dito, a negative naman dito? So, remember guys, na yung sign ng third term na D is negative. So, kung matatandaan nyo sa multiplication of integers of like sign, so, pag negative times negative is positive, so, plus dito. So, dito kanina, uh, sinulat ko na plus dito kasi positive na to siya. So, positive times positive or positive n times positive n is positive in squared or plus operation. So, dito is negative d times negative d is positive d. So, plus ang nilgay ko dito. Then, patuloy tayo. Meron tayong plus twice ng first term at saka second term. So, meron tayong 2 mn so, m times n yan guys, ha? Plus 2 a at saka c. So, that is a at saka d or m times negative d. So, 
instead na plus ang ilagay natin dito guys is magiging minus yan sa din 2 m d nakuha nyo so instead na plus kasi yung sign ng c mo na third term is d so pag minultiply mo yan ng positive m at saka negative d ang lalabas is negative md. So, minus ang operation mo dito. Okay? Then, plus twice ng b at saka c or the second term and the third term. So, makikita nyo dito, meron tayong positive n times negative d. So, the answer is negative n d. So, instead na plus, magiging minus 2 n d. Diba? 2 n d. So, wala na tayong makukumbine dito, diba? Napakasimple lang. So, the final answer of M plus in minus D squared is ito. M squared plus N squared plus D squared plus 2MN minus 2MD minus 2ND. So, wala ka namang makukombine na like terms dyan. So, ito na yung kanyang final answer.